Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2018 slot 2 DILR is a sort of a bubble chart. Just that instead of circular bubbles, you have rectangular bubbles because the concept is that you have to read one value along the x axis, another value you need to read along the y axis, and you need to find the area of these. So if you see areas and the center, so technically the concept of bubble chart. And instead of bubbles, we are given rectangles over here. So it says there are 23 boxes. They represent product manufactured by three companies, Alpha, Bravo and Charlie. Alpha has been given by these blue uh, lines, Bravo through red lines and Charlie through black lines. So in case you find difficult to read the colors, the uh, shading is also different. So Alpha has slanting lines. Bravo has uh, horizontally, verti uh, horizontally parallel lines and Charlie has vertically parallel lines. Then it says that the area of the box is proportional to the revenue from the corresponding product. So let us say, look at this uh, one. Okay, so if you see this is one unit, two unit, two and a half and three. So three units into three units. So it is revenue is equal to 9x where x is the proportionality constant then it says its center represents product popularity and market potential so this is the center of the uh, graph and if we read it this value is 18 so it has market potential of 18 and product popularity will be along this axis which is between 4 and 5 so 4.5 so this is how we need to read the graph However, we need not calculate everything for each of these products. We will read the information further and the conditions and then try to solve the questions. It says that the company classified their products into four categories based on a combination of scores on the two parameters, product popularity and market potential. Now, if you see this line is of 10 in market potential and similarly, this line is of 10 in product popularity. So we can make it into four quadrants. Now if both things are greater than 10, that is a promising product. So this is a promising product. If both are less than 10, this is a no hope product. If popularity is great, but market potential is less. So popularity is great, but market potential is less. That is a blockbuster. And this is a doubtful product. Okay, so we can classify them into four quadrants. Now let us read the information further before we answer the questions. Now we are given a set of uh, points which tell us about how many products are present in which category of which company and also about the revenue. So we will have to find the revenue and the number of products in each of these categories and possibly we will be able to identify these missing values. So some values are missing in this the ones which are not shaded are the missing ones. We need to allot them to one of the categories. So now the first uh, thing here is uh, Alpha and Bravo had the same number of products in the blockbuster category. So let's first mark it doubtful. This was uh, promising blockbuster and no more. It says Alpha and Bravo same number in blockbuster category. Now. Alpha already has two uh, products here. Bravo has just one. Okay. Now, if we assign one to Bravo, it will become two and uh, then rest uh, can go to Charlie. So, Charlie already has. Now, Alpha has one. Bravo has, Alpha has two. Bravo has one. Charlie has two. So, we have to assign at least one product. If we assign two products to Bravo, Bravo will have more. So, Bravo should be given two. Charlie should be given three products. So let us put one small information here. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. In the blockbuster, they will have two, two, and three. Okay. Next information is that Charlie had more products than Bravo, but fewer than Alpha in the no hope category. So Charlie is more than Bravo, but fewer than Alpha in the no hope category. So no hope category, we have six numbers. Okay. Alpha is minimum 2, right? Bravo is also 1. And we have 6 products. So only possibility is 1, 2, 3. One of these will be more, one of them will more be an alpha product. So 
थ्री फॉर अल्फा इन नो होप वी हैव थ्री फॉर अल्फा वन फॉर ब्रावो एंड टू फॉर चार्ली नेक्स्ट सेज ईच कंपनी हैड इक्वल नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स इन promising category so there are only three products each company will get one one product in the promising category the last category is uh, the doubtful category it says charlie did not have any product in the doubtful category so charlie is zero and uh, while alpha had one product more than bravo so how many products are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so alpha has four products and bravo has three products in this category so this gives the number of products now we have more information that is about the revenue and the remaining four points talk about the revenue part so we will evaluate it accordingly it says bravo had higher revenue that alpha from products in the doubtful category so bravo's revenue is more than alpha bravo has just three products but more revenue okay now we know that this is two this is 6 like you can find the length as 2 and height as 1 uh, so 2 this revenue is 6 and alpha it is 4 at 1 thus far now we need to give one more to bravo we we will not give the small one to bravo because alpha will have more revenue for sure if we give this one to bravo let us say we give this so bravo will have total of 14 and alpha will have this is 4 plus 1 5 this is 9 and 1 so alpha will have more so that means we will give this one to uh, this one will be for bravo and all others will be for alpha so we get that this is bravo now next is charlie had a higher revenue than bravo for products in the blockbuster category so blockbuster we have we have two three for charlie and two for bravo so bravo one of the values is 6 okay and we need to give one more to bravo now this 6 can cancel out this 6 we need to give one to one of the product to charlie okay now if we give uh, one product to charlie it says charlie had higher revenue than bravo from products in the blockbuster category so uh, this bravo and charlie one thing is cancelled out charlie should have one more product so if you give 2 and 4 that becomes 6 and if you give 9 to bravo so bravo will have more more revenue okay charlie should have a higher revenue so we cannot give this to bravo so bravo will get this and charlie will get this product okay so the bigger one goes to charlie next is Bravo and Charlie had the same revenue for products in the no hope category. So in no hope category, we have one product of Bravo, which is this. So four units. Now Charlie should have two products, and that total should be four. So these both are for Alpha. So this is three, one, one. So this is compulsorily going to Charlie. This may go to Alpha or Charlie. Okay, so we cannot determine, but yes, for this we can determine. now the last condition says alpha and charlie had the same total revenue considering all products now this is the most uh, painful point because you will have to add the revenues for alpha and charlie so we will make category wise revenues alpha and charlie so let's start with the no hope category alpha has a revenue of this is 4 and 2 6 and one of out of these two so alpha has a revenue of 7 in this category and charlie has a revenue of 3 plus 1 4 next category if we see charlie has uh, charlie has a revenue of 6 plus 2 plus 9 that is 17 in this category and alpha has this is 3 and 6 that is 9 in this category okay now next category that is doubtful charlie has zero revenue in it and how much does alpha have alpha has except this big one big one is going to beat up uh, we have alpha as this is 4 plus 1 5 
5 plus 6, 11, plus 1, 12. So, alpha has a revenue of total 12 units. So, thus far, alpha has a total of 28 and Charlie has a total of 21, right? So, let us say alpha has x revenue and Charlie has y revenue. So, we can say that y is equal to x plus 7 because they have equal revenues. So, we will get y is equal to x plus 7. Now, the difference, these are 2, 9 and 3. So, that means this is y is the Charlie one. So, this is going to Charlie. This is going to alpha. This goes to bravo. So, this is how we have filled all the information, right? So, we cannot determine these two people, but we can find the revenue of all others. Like this is uh, alpha, Charlie, bravo. Here, bravo gets this one and uh, this is how we can get. So, only these two, we are not able to determine. Now, we will look at the questions, okay. So, I will just recreate these things. This was uh, blockbuster category, promising category, and then we had a doubtful category and no fork category, right. In this, we said that this is Charlie, this is Alpha or Charlie. Uh, this went to uh, Charlie, Alpha and Bravo. This was for Bravo and the rest one for Alpha and in this category we had Bravo and Charlie. This is Bravo, this is Charlie. Okay. Now we can answer these questions. Uh, we have written the numbers also, how many in which uh, revenue we did not add. We can add the revenues for uh, these to answer the questions. So, revenue of uh, Y is 9. So, total revenue of Alpha and Charlie is 30. Alpha, Alpha and Charlie, the revenue is 30. We can calculate for uh, Bravo, which is asked in one of the questions. So, we will calculate in this question. So, now let us look at the questions. It says, considering all companies' products, which product category had the highest revenue? Now, this does not require you to calculate the revenue of all products. See, that requires an observation of the graph. If you see this as the least number of products, so definitely not the highest. If you see small values here, small rect rectangles, so definitely this is not the highest. It is between these two categories. Okay. Now, if you observe the size of rectangles, like See, it is saying highest, it is not asking what is the revenue of this particular category. So, this largest one can be removed with this one. Okay, you can remove these two with these two, okay, equal areas. Now, this can be removed by this graph and now you see small, small ones remaining and larger ones remaining. So, mere observation can help you answer this question. So, it is not needed that you calculate values for all questions. Some questions could have been answered by just looking at the values. Uh, because this set no doubt is a difficult one because you have to calculate a lot of values. But as a smart test taker, you should just attempt the observation based questions first. So, this is an observation based question. So, it says that blockbuster category has the highest revenue. Which of the following is the correct sequence of numbers of Bravo product in these categories? One could have filled this table because it was easy. The first four points were easy to execute. So, one could have filled this and answered this question as well. So, uh, it is doubt, no hope, doubtful. No hope, doubtful, that is 1, 3. Then promising and blockbuster, 1, 3, 1, 2. That is our answer. Now, a person could have ideally solved these two questions and moved on because overall it could have taken a lot of time to solve it. Next two questions is, I will attempt this at the last because not correct means I need to check all the statements. The third question in the order should have been this one. The smallest box on the grid is equivalent to revenue of 1 crore. So, that means this is equal to 1 crore or area of 1 is equal to 1 crore. So, we need to find the total revenue of Bravo in rupees crores. So, we will find Bravo in all the four categories. Here, Bravo is uh, this one which is a revenue of 4. In this category, Bravo is uh, 4 and 6, that is 10. In the next category, sorry, this is not Bravo, this is Bravo. Again, that is 10 only. Next category, Bravo is 3. 
and the last category bravo is 2 plus 6 plus 9 that is 8 plus 9 17 so total revenue is 17 17 34 plus 3 37 so 30, 17, 14, 17, 17 plus 17 is 34. So total revenue of Bravo is 34 crores. Which of the following statements is not correct? Alpha's revenue from Blockbuster products was the same as Charlie's from Promising product. Alpha from Blockbuster. So now if you go to the Blockbuster category, Alpha has 3 plus 6, that is 9. And Charlie from promising is 9. So that is equal. It is saying that not correct. Next statement, the total revenue from no hook products was less than from doubtful products. Again, that is an observation based question. Okay, so doubtful we know more graphs and larger. So that is definitely true. Like if you just see that there are 3 plus 3, 6 graphs and there are 7 graphs. So these small graphs can be offset by these two small graphs. And these are like you do not see such large graphs in the no hope category. So clearly without calculating we could have eliminated this option. Bravo and Charlie had the same revenues from no hope product. This was already given in the statements. Doesn't it? So there was a question that uh, Bravo and Charlie had the same revenue in the no hope category. So one could have been vigilant and not calculated it. Last says, so if you have eliminated three options, the fourth one has to be the answer. It says Bravo's revenue from Blockbuster products was greater than Alpha's revenue from Doubtful product. So Bravo in Blockbuster, we just calculated that is 10. And Alpha in Doubtful. So uh, Doubtful category, Alpha is 1 plus uh, 6. And then we have 4, 1, 6, 4, 1. So that is 12. Right? It is false because Alpha's revenue is more instead of blockbusters. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.